الله ولي الذين آمنوا يخرجهم من الظلمات إلى النور الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله. Dear brothers and sisters, if you were to ask yourself or if I were to ask you, describe the month of Ramadan with only one word. If I were to ask you to say one word. that describes the month of Ramadan. What would come to your mind? So when I asked some of the youth about this uh, question or about this one word that could describe the month of Ramadan, I had many different uh, interesting answers. So some people said that the month of Ramadan or the first thing that comes to their mind is fasting, obviously, or we agreed to call it abstinence, you know, in terms of food and drink, not the other kind of uh, abstinence. So f food and drink, that's the first thing that came to some of people's minds. Some other people thought of Al-Quran, and indeed the whole month of Ramadan has been made special because the Quran was revealed in it. شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن in ليلة القدر, the month of Ramadan in which the Quran was revealed. And because of the revelation of the Qur'an, the whole month was made special. So yes, it's the month of Qur'an. Some people actually said that the month of Ramadan is all about change. Where people actually change their behaviors, where people change their habits and so on. Some people said or described the month of Ramadan as being the month of victory. And this is what I would like to share with you in the coming few minutes. Indeed, the month of Ramadan is a month of victory. And if you look through the history of Islam and Muslims, you will be surprised to know that uh, a lot of the very important, significant victories in the history of Islam were achieved in the month of Ramadan. For example, as you probably know, the Battle of Badr happened in the month of Ramadan. The Battle of or Fath Mecca. The conquest of Mecca was in the month of Ramadan. Al Qadisiyah was in the month of Ramadan. Ain Jalut was in the month of Ramadan. In Al Andalus, several incidents happened in the month of Ramadan. Even in our recent times, in the October 6th, 6th October in Egypt, it was done in the month of Ramadan. So the month of Ramadan is the month of victories. It is not, as some people think, it is not the month where you have an excuse. of being weak, out of strength, out of energy because you're not eating. It is not time for people to sleep more and to rest more and just sit at home because they're weak, because they're physically weak. The month of Ramadan is the month of victories, the month of achievements. Allah Azza wa Jal, to facilitate this victory, He causes a lot of change around us. as an incentive, as a motivation for us to move and to achieve victories. So Allah Azza wa Jal, again as an incentive, He tells us that the gates of Al-Jannah are wide open and that the gates of Jahannam are shut down and closed and that the shayateen are chained. And then Allah Azza wa Jal gives us the incentive and He says that your deeds are multiplied in the month of Ramadan. And Allah Azza wa Jal tells us and encourages us that in this month, Allah Azza wa Jal looks upon us and guarantees us Al-Jannah every single night of the nights of Ramadan. So He gives us all of these encouragements and incentives in the month of Ramadan so that we can go out and achieve victories. Some of the victories that we can achieve in the month of Ramadan is a victory over our shaitan. 
the shaitan is chained in the month of Ramadan. So Allah Azza wa Jal is telling us through the things that we do in the month of Ramadan that Ya Muhammad, Ya Khalid, Ya Khadija, Ya Aisha, you have so much potential within you. You can do so much when you think that you cannot pray the five times a day. Allah Azza wa Jal tells us in the month of Ramadan, you can pray that times ten in the Taraweeh and the Qiyam. You think that reading Quran is so hard and so tough? Well, you can do it. And you do it in the month of Ramadan. You read so much Quran. You think you cannot live without that, without that can of soda or without that bottle of water? You can do it. You can live without the snack. You can live without the junk food. You can live without three meals a day. You have the potential. And Allah Azza wa Jal forces us to realize and see that potential within us. So it's a victory over the shaitan, it's a victory over ourselves, we, we gain control back over ourselves. It's a victory of our soul over the body. We don't live in a struggle between the soul and the body. The soul and the body work together so that we would go and end up in al-jannah. But it's, it's not acceptable for the body to take over and for the soul to be neglected. We cannot continue to take care of our bodies through working out and exercising and eating and dressing well. This is all taking care of the body. We cannot ignore our soul. The month of Ramadan is a month of victory of our soul over our bodies. It is the time when the soul is connected back to Allah Azza wa Jal, when it's recharged so that it would take control again or back over our lives. It is a month of victory over ourselves. It's a month of victory over our habits. A lot of us are locked and chained and caged into these habits that we think that it's impossible to change. Many habits, and I leave it up to you to think about what kind of habits that you have in your life that you feel that you're a prisoner of. It is in the month of Ramadan that Allah Azza wa Jal sets us free from these habits, that we, we achieve victory over them. And Allah Azza wa Jal forces us to go to the masjid, forces us to organize our time, forces us to live for others and think of others. So Allah Azza wa Jal breaks their, these habits in the month of Ramadan so that we can realize the potential that He has put into us as humans. I hope you see that there's so much potential and so many victories that we, can, that we can achieve in the month of Ramadan. The month of Ramadan is not the month of sleeping. It is not the month of feeling weak. It is not a month of not doing anything. It is a month of achievements. It's a month of victories. It is the month that we recharge, connect back with Allah Azza wa Jal, and get closer and closer and closer to our final destination, Al-Jannah. I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to make us among those victorious at all times in all levels. I ask Allah Azza wa Jal that we will, inshallah, gather in the Day of Judgment and talk and share the experiences and the victories that we, had, we have achieved together in this dunya. Allahumma aghfir warham wa tajawaz amma ta'lam innaka anta al-a'az al-akram wa akhiru da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa salli allahumma wa sallim wa barik ala sayyidina muhammad wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.